Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Lugia here, bringing you a new series on the channel called Make a Mega. Basically, what it is, I'll be looking at Pokemon that are deserving of a Mega Evolution and proposing what those Megas could look like. I'll be looking at their stats, design, ability, and all that Gucci good stuff. This video will be centered around Mega Magmaswine, and I also want you to let me know what Pokemon you want to see again in Mega, and I'll pick one of them, and they'll be the next Mega that I build around in the next video. So if you're hyped for this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, that would be dope. That way you won't miss out. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. So Mamoswine is a fan favorite and Game Freak did a really good job of giving its former evolution, Piloswine, a much needed buff. They gave it a really good boost to its stats, rocking an impressive 130 attack and equally as good 110 HP with a decent speed tier of 80 as well. Obviously there are room for improvements. Ice and Ground type is also very good typing offensively, having very few switch-ins in the game. It's also nice to have that electric immunity. Its abilities are also pretty good, with Oblivious allowing you to not be taunted and get up those Stealth Rocks against your opponent, Snow Cloak being a bit more gimmicky but can be used in the right situation, and Thick Fat allowing you to take hits from Fire and Ice type moves. So if we take a look at this monster that is Mega Mamoswine, what's not to love about it am I right? Firstly, we give it the ability Mold Breaker. Now, Mamoswine has no switch-ins. Mold Breaker ignores other abilities, so for example, Rotom Wash will no longer have Levitate against you, and Earthquake is now super effective against it and knocks it clean out. Also, Mega Venusaur Stick Fat will no longer come into play, so Ice Moves are going to body it as well. I think it also should get the move Swords Dance, because Mamoswine just looks like the type of Mon who will be able to set up in your face, giving this monster even more of an attack power. So of course now let's take a look at Mega Mamoswine's stats. First, I have to say that we ramp up the speed to 110. Mamoswine's biggest flaw was his lack of a very threatening speed tier. 80 was alright but it wasn't very good. Giving it 110 base speed allows it to speed type with threats such as Latios, Gengar and Mega Deontay, all who take serious damage from both forms of Mamoswine's stab moves. Next is upping its attack to 160 which would put it above Mega Pinsir and we all know how much of, power, how much of a powerhouse that thing can be. Also seeing it both its defenses go up to 90 would put it just shy of that coveted 100 stat, allowing Mamoswine to take a few more hits while it steps up against you or sweeps your team. And that's my analysis on Mega Mamoswine guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this new series. Again if you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, that would be dope. And let me know your thoughts on my analysis. What do you think of Mega Mamoswine? Is there anything you would change? Anything you would add? And of course, don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below on what Mega you would like to see next. I'll be sure to pick one out and make a video around it. Until next time, I hope you guys are having a great day. Mega Lugia here, checking out. Peace!